think we should be good. It looks like we're good in everything. All right. Get started. <clears throat> oh yeah, we were in the casino. Okay. All right. We have to go back to the. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go back to the detective agency. Oh, all right. First time we had the threat level thing. I still don't really know what that means. I think it means there's gonna be like more gangs or something. <coughs> what the hell? Hey, D. Dude, I'm fine all morning. Then I start streaming. I'm sneezing and like my eyes are burning. I don't know what happened. Christ. This again. Oh, see, if I can grab the bicycle, it's all over. They can't even put up a fight. There we go. Oh, I need to fight the bosses to lower the threat level. All right. Well, it seems like it goes it goes down gradually. <sighs> There's definitely a lot more people in the street, though. Hello, sweetie. I'm not even sick. I think it's just like allergies or something. But I was fine, like literally up until I I click start stream. Like I didn't sneeze or anything this morning. But technically it's like I think it is spring now. Or it's like in like a week or something. Oh, I'm guessing. Okay, I think that's one of the bosses there. Oh, Tuesday spring. Okay. Well, basically, basically spring. Uh, it's going good. Grab a bike. Not the bike, but we'll use it anyway. Oh, you can get a lot of uses out of the traffic code. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have another week in the U.S. until spring. No, not week. Tuesday. I don't know what I'm saying. Nothing like getting stunned, then immediately getting stunned again once you get up. Thoughts on the Crow trailer? Um, for what it was, I didn't think it looked bad, but... It's, it's clearly like a different story. Like, it, it's not, you know, like, it, it's not Eric or Shelly, so I don't know why they didn't just name, make it a different character. Like, I didn't think it looked bad, really. It, it looked more like an action movie than anything. Wait, what's going on? What's happening now?
That's the first time cops ever showed up. Um, it seems like more of like an action movie than anything. Like like, it seemed like there's gonna be a really like action packed third act, which I really wasn't what I was looking for in a crow movie. But I mean, it is what it is. I think Bill Skarsgård is gonna do a decent job because he does a good job in everything. But I just don't know why they insist on calling it or insist on calling him. Eric. It's, it's clearly like a different character. I need to buy more food, actually. Perfect. It looks like people thought the Joker movie would look like back in 2019 during the controversy. Uh, I don't know if I get Joker vibes. Hello? Yagami-san. Um, this is Sari. What's up, Sari-san? You don't usually call me. <laughs> I haven't been able to reach Shintani-sensei. It keeps going to voicemail. He hasn't picked up since he left the office after talking to you. Spring here starts in March to celebrate it with... Didn't you say the Kyori clan was after him? Marty, sir. Yeah. I don't know how to say that. A spring token. Fun. That's cool. It's always cool to hear about like what different cultures okay. celebrate. Could you try and I thought the SoundCloud, SoundCloud rapper look was call. an interesting take. Maybe he'll pick up for you. I like. Are you sure we're talking about <laughs> the same guy? Uh, uh, might as well. Yeah, it's not <laughs> not my favorite. The sad part is, like, he would look good. He he would look good. With the like the normal look, like more traditional crow look, like it would have fit. So I don't know why they went with that. Well, I know why, because uh, he, you know, the director said he was inspired by people like Post Malone and shit to make him make the crow more quote unquote modern. Which I I don't think that's necessarily what that means, but I, the, it's just it's it's definitely not what I would have gone for. It's it's it just looks silly. And he really does look like Jared Leto's Joker. Like, even, like, during the trailer, there's some spots where it's, like, he really looks like it, which doesn't exactly be the Hi, great taste of Shintani enough. here. Uh, hey, Shintani-sensei, it's Tak. Where are you? The tattoos are, aren't great. While he's moving, Mailbox don't hate it. One and only Masamichi Shintani. And the oh, law shit. His finest attorney. Shintani. Leave your legal troubles after the beep. That's how they killed the other guy, isn't it? Oh, I guess, okay. I think we're on a new chapter now. The Tojo clan is struck by Kyure clan. They got me some more. New Walter, you go. This is Kamurocho's a joke. Kamurocho's oh, okay, disarray gotcha. only spreads wider. That's how been silly. The thing with the, the, the crows, I, I'm not against Eric having tattoos, but like, why form. in movies, when they give a character like but tattoos, the shadows, they're always the shittiest looking tattoos ever. Like they're always like the worst thing. They always suck. And in Yagami's own shadow, <clears throat> the mole's sharp. And I, I think like I don't even think dark. Eric is a, a a mechanic or a um or like a musician like he was in the movie. Or like he was supposed to be a. Uh, well, they never say it, but in the comic, it's hinted that Eric's like a mechanic. I think he's supposed—I think he's supposed to be a tattoo artist in this new movie, unless they disprove what do you that. Mean he's dead? Well, they said that's not true. Didn't you just say everything would be okay? Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just as shocked as you. But I think the mole is responsible. <sighs> Have you contacted the police? No, I just hate that he made it seem like Gotham right Rock culture doesn't exist. Do you think you could make the call, sorry, son? What? The look and tone of the trailer made it out before the feel like it could have been one of those Sony Venomverse movies. That's kind of true. It did kind of have like Mor yeah. Morbius vibes okay. a little bit. Thanks. I mean, I I, I get. That maybe they didn't want to necessarily do like the whole gothic thing because that wasn't really like the 
the gothic stuff wasn't really in like the comic. That was more like the movie. The? But yeah, they're definitely not going for like gothic or anything. It, it, it's much. It seems like it's gonna be much more like fast paced. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna call him early, so it's definitely on his body. Goes way to find it. I'm calling it again. Ringtone's like maybe straight to it. Why not just look in his pockets? What the? Like, why not just look through his pocket? Wouldn't that be the simplest thing? Is that cat somewhere? Well, there it is. You know, we haven't leveled up in a while. Probably have a lot of points. Going through someone's pocket isn't gonna leave prints on the the body. What's up, infamous wolf? I saw the one comment you left, by the way, on the, the last stream. I was just talking about the the crow trailer. But like I said, I think I I I think the trailer looks okay for the most part. I just don't understand why they insist on calling him Eric when it's a different character. Let me called it a few hours ago for his death. Who's he talking to? Yeah, but he could have put gloves on. I was about to say, like, he's a he's a private investigator. He should have gloves. Well, technically, private investigators aren't allowed to interact with like a dead body. You received a call from the Genda Law Office. Got here fast, Detective Kuroiwa. Shintani, huh? Yeah. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps you couldn't stand his newfound fame so you often. Huh? I heard you two weren't exactly on good terms. <laughs> Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? Oh god, I hope it's better than the Robocop remake. Robert. Robocop remake was fucking ass. For I hope it's better. We will need you present as a resident of the property. God, if that's the bar we're that setting, we'll need <laughs> we need to do a little, we need to put ourselves a little bit higher. You'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. I don't have money for that. Yet you can afford bribing a cop. My base sources aren't even that reliable. I don't know what you mean. Oh, yeah, like I'm sure you do. Kirua. Did a Robocop game looks fun? Maybe I'll get it. Yeah, I, a lot of people yeah, were saying sorry. it's like surprisingly good. I think the deluxe editions on like sale. It's like forty bucks. Yeah. I was like contemplating it, but I'm like, ah. Uh. As do I. Hoshino too. Okay, I'll head over now. Oh no, is it dead? Oh wait. Oh, my pen was dead. <laughs> New info's bound to your case file. Robocop and Crow are easy comparisons. Well, I sure fucking hope it's better than the RoboCop remake, because that was garbage. We have 5,000 SP, so we gotta do something. So I increase your photo op time during photo missions. Vibrate. I think we already have this, don't we? No, no. Decrease the effect the wind has on your drone. We're gonna get that, because that shit sucked last time I flew the drone. Um... At this. Uh, I'm gonna stream till about 2.30. In my opinion, the trailer looks good. It's sort of off, giving off top gothic vibe from a comic. But other than that, I was excited. Bill doesn't give off his... I'm excited. Bill does give off a physicality look like the comic, Eric. But I'm excited. Yeah. I, I didn't really get gothic vibes from... from it. Yeah, I, I did the drone races. I did one and then never really touched it again.
Um, I'm gonna be playing for like another hour and a half, dude. What's up, Mateo? Um, no one comes with an enemy, desperately punches the crap out of them. <laughs> I love that description. We should have had this unlocked. Um. Gumming does not simply get up on his feet after taking a nasty fall. He counters his way back up. We'll do that. And what else is there? So we can... Drinking alcohol... Makes our EX, EX gauge feel faster. I didn't know that. We'll do that maybe. What's up, Penny? Mm, let's do. Hold after a rush combo to gather your chi and release it. Seems good. Enemies. Back up in the ground. All right. I have one theory that the guy who's talking to Eric in the world of the dead might, and this is a big might, become the crow who goes with Eric. And fingers crossed, the crow does talk. Um, I guess I took that as like an interpretation of like the, like that was their version of the the skull cowboy. It seems like there's elements that are similar to the the comic, but definitely not as as uh, accurate as I, as I would have liked. Whoops. You know, that makes getting knocked down a bit more bearable. I'm in the wrong thing. It's definitely going for the Pattinson and Batman John Wick audience. The like the last thirty seconds of the trailer does have like major John Wick vibe. Can I walk three steps without a motherfucker wanting to kill me? It, like the last like couple seconds of the trailer really does have John Wick vibes. That's why I said like I can tell it's gonna have like a really like action filled third. Which I mean like the movie version had that too, so I'm not like totally against that. It just, I, I just don't want it to be like a mindless action all the way through. Because I have no problem with the John Wick movies, I just don't necessarily want that style for, for a crow film, you know? Yeah, tonight on for the Discord movie night, we're gonna watch the crow. Um, can I? I don't think I can buy food here. Oh wait, no, you can. Does this give you health though? I assume so. Oh, we can get some of this. Can we use this to attract the cats? Is that what we use that for? Given current events, I can't decide between wanting to read Dune or the Crow graphic novel after the Rome Diary. I mean, I would say, I mean, I haven't read Dune, but the Crow is my favorite graphic novel of all time. Which, speaking of, I have to say, since the, the trailer came out, I've had a huge influx of people 
watching my uh, my crow video, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is the dude. Oh, this is doing another thing. In Yakuza 8, you can ride a Segway. Kind of wish you can do that here. The Crow movie's been directed. That guy did Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah, he also did Ghost in the Shell. So I guess he's worked with adaptations before. <clears throat> but yeah, there's been a lot of, like, especially, like, comments and stuff. Like... I've gotten probably at least 10 comments on my crow video all saying I'm here after watching the new the new crow, crow, the new trailer for the crow. So I thought that was pretty cool. Also, we just hit 40,000 subscribers, which is pretty nice considering I haven't uploaded anything recently. So we're almost like, because I'm going to be uploading a lot more. So I'm hoping in a month or two, we might be able to hit the uh, 50,000 subscribers. Oh, God. Bring it on. Like, I just, see, it wasn't bothering me before, but it's like, why every five seconds now do I have to stop and fight someone? I'm just going to use one of my fucking specials. Um... No, use this. Yeah, I'm playing fucking Dragon Ball Z here. No, people kind of lost interest in Disco Elysium. It, like, it wasn't bad by any means, but it was kind of a slow game, and I just don't think it made for very interesting streams, honestly. Imagine if James Abar made a cameo in the new Chrome movie, but I know it won't happen. Uh, he he actually makes a cameo in the '94 movie. It, it's like, it's like. It's hard to see, but in the background of one of the scenes, I think it's when, I think it's when Sherry, or no, it was Sarah. I think it's when Sarah's talking to Albrecht the first time. You see, like, there's some people looting a store. One of the people, like, robbing the store, he comes out carrying a TV. That's James O'Barr. He actually had a cameo in the first movie. I don't know. I don't think, it doesn't feel like he's involved in this one at all. The others making a response video to the crow trailer not like a direct response to the trailer but i am i'm working on like a, a video kind of talking about the crow and like the problem with modernization i'm not so it's not gonna be like a direct response to the trailer necessarily but it, it's gonna it's gonna talk about it a little bit yeah i think this is some kind of yakuza pissing contest do you come on the mole is way bigger than you know probably knew more about the mole than I did. And his source had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. But why did he have to put Shintani Sensei's body in your office? Not sure. Maybe to harass me? Maybe to scare me off their trail? You think if James was involved, Bill Skarsgård Crow would look different? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Hmm? I mean... You might want to lay low for a bit. Um, It's not safe for you. James was pretty receptive to like changes quiet. that the 94 movie the made like he wasn't you a hard ass he right. he I'll do just that Guinness I mean say. part of the changes were obviously because of Brandon's death but you know there were other ones besides that and he was okay with it so I if he was involved I don't know he if he necessarily shoulders and a <sighs> I don't know it's hard to say 
Maybe, but... he didn't have but, the guts to succeed when push came you to know. shove. Not the most persistent lawyer I've seen. Even so, he looked up to me. Guess I took it for yeah, I couldn't get into Returnal. Thought he'd always be part of the team. When I first joined... You're morbidly curious the about the soundtrack. The it... it, it <laughs> I don't know. Going off like the director's comments, I feel like the soundtrack's gonna be a bunch Thanks of like fucking post Malone and little Pete. That's what he said he modeled on, sorry, Eric after. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Feel free to stay here tonight, Yakami. <laughs> I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshinokun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. <sighs> if you say. I wish so. the crow had a face scar in different pupil sizes. Yeah, a comic accurate crow. Good night, boss. Would be something cool. Make yourself at home. I guess we're having a sleepover. I'll leave you the key. You've been here way longer anyway. You deserve it more than me. <laughs> Mumble rap's just like it's it's the kind of rap music where you can't understand what they're saying. Um, Yagami-san, do you have a minute? Post Malone and the Crow. Truly, we live in a dark timeline. I I, I actually like Post Malone's music. Sure, what's up? Well, it's but about definitely don't think he should fit into uh to the universe of the Crow. Yagami-san. I know you just told Genda Sensei you're gonna lay low, but that's not true, is it? You want to keep hunting down this killer. And if I said yes? Don't worry, I won't tell Genda Sensei. But in return, hmm? I, I wonder if Burn is even gonna make like it's even gonna be on the soundtrack at all. I, I kind of doubt it. Looking to avenge Shintani, huh? <sighs> he wasn't as strong as he let on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Deep down, he was just weak. That's why he was going along with Hamura, not because he wanted to. I mean, these comic adaptations no do Yakuza. a lot now better than game adaptations. I Recently, I would right say that's actually switched, though. Time. Well, yeah, because these fucking producers and stuff, do to help. they might read the comic, you know, but these old-ass fucking geezers aren't going to play a video kind of game. So, of course, if they did a, a video game... Criminal, adaptation it was always civil, garbage because no one they didn't the know the source material but i know one thing i don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits like you think any motherfucker who worked on the uh which means who worked on the sure dragon ball evolution movie actually watched an episode of dragon ball don't worry about that i'll defend myself in court if i need to now yagami son do you mind if i tag along <laughs> You'll just tell Genda Sensei if I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, there was a City of Angels game. Not much choice then. It was weird Love though, because it was like a, a beat em up, but it had like tank Glad controls. To be working with you. Well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died, and I have some evidence that may tell us just that. I should have something that hints at what Shintani was doing. It would be a phone, wouldn't it? Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Right. That makes sense. It's a good thing the killer forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way we can <clears throat> see who he was calling. The killer didn't forget. I honestly think Even if the <coughs> gone, City of Angels kind of gets a bad rap. I mean, it's not like really? great. I had no idea. But yeah. I think it's a, a decent follow-up. To huh? the first one. I mean, I mean compared to anything else, but it, I, 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 to be honest, I like the guy who played the crow. Possible, you know? Hey, the number got a hit in the search. Do I like the progress it's of the mystery? For yeah, the, it's interesting. Uh, advanced Drug Development Center. I, I like getting little small pieces of information what, rather you know than uh, you know, three years ago, something more than that. Pretty famous murder there. Patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. And the man they arrested for it was named Shinpei Okubo. 
I've actually never seen Pacific Rim. Wait, he was your client, wasn't he? He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. According to the police report, it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. <laughs> Right. Yeah, me and, and, me and Scarlet Widow, we watched the butterfly effect yesterday. It was her idea. But then he I wasn't exactly a fan. Yeah, you can stop there. But why like, would Shintani the concept of it was interesting, she? but... Who Jesus, everything else was such a slog. We'll give them a ring. But, it's getting late. You should go home. Are you still watching Star Way to Heaven? Yeah, we can start fresh tomorrow. Where do we want to meet? Oh, right. <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda Sensei, after all. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. I'll let Kaito san. I don't yeah. think it would have been any better if we watched the theatrical yeah. cut. I'll see I, I don't think that was the problem. Although, usually, director's cuts. I mean, in my opinion, I think director's cuts are usually worse. That There's a reason why producers and writers take out some of the director's suggestions. Because nine times out of ten, a director's cut is never as good as the theatrical release. Like, there's a reason why producers make director's cut stuff out. If any fictional item from a movie was real, what would that thing... You wish was real. Oh, I'd want the, uh, I'd want the fucking, the remote that Adam Sandler had in Click. I'd want that shit. A Purge game. Hear me out, a Purge movie, but in Europe. Yeah, but I think in the, isn't it like an American thing in the, in the movies? Like it's only in America. I, like the purge was always the dumbest shit to me. I, I, I just, I've seen the first one, and like bits and pieces of the other ones. I just, I, it's, it's so dumb. Like it's like the dumbest con like concept ever. No, you're right there. Excuse me. I mean, let I me mean, like a, a guilty pleasure thing. We found out that the guy who played the crow in Stairway to Heaven was the same guy John Wick stabbed in the heart at the end of the second film. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Which the mom, mom, mom plushie from Bullet Train was real. Was that like the, was that the one who like that, that assassin, is that the costume that assassin was wearing? The one who would like poison people? There should be some growing just behind the fence. Sorry, but could you grab it for me? Wait, what's growing? Excuse me. Let me place the mugwort into the... Making a healing potion? Yeah, that's the one the poison assassin was dressed in as a disguise. That's a fun-ass movie, Bullet Train. That guy was really fun. <laughs> the Rick and Morty time rewind controller would be nice. I mean, you can kind of do that with the, the click controller. Now, you know what, what superpower I want? It's the lamest fucking thing, but, uh, like, <laughs> one superpower I want is I want to control my TV with my brain. So when I lay down to watch TV at night, and I'm about to sleep, and I realize I forgot to grab a controller, I don't have to get up. That, that's all, I don't want to fly. I don't want super strength. That's all I want. I call this an extract. Extra. Oh, we already know about extracts. 
medical concoction extract oil is much easier off the tongue. I'm juicing myself. I'm Yama. I make and market my own extracts here at Kamaruchu. Oh, buddy, we shoot fucking dr Hadoukens out of our hands. We, anything you got, we don't need. He will call me the Hermit of the Dragon's Palace. This is Yagami. I can explore the world without social anxiety. I don't know if that's a superpower, that's more therapy. I remember, like, I remember thinking back uh, when I used to, like, hang out with my friends on, like, the PlayStation parties or some shit back during, like, COVID or, like, when we were a kid. I, this is, like, I remember one night we were playing, like, fucking Warzone or something. And the entire night for, like, five hours straight, we, we started thinking of, like, what the shittiest superpowers of all time would be. And I, I don't remember a lot of them, but one of my favorites was, was like, we were thinking of, like, what could be a superpower that'd be completely fucking worthless? And one of them was, like, I think I came up with this one, is you can turn invisible, but only when no one's looking. You know that band building in the Hotel District? That's the Dragon's Palace. My pharmacy's on the fourth floor. So you said that worth was one of your ingredients. Yes, I came here to gather ingredients for an extract I'm making, but I got wind and ended up taking a nasty fall. I'm glad you were around. Otherwise, I might not have made it. Mm. A man who's apparently a hermit that makes drugs in an abandoned building. That's not strange at all. No, you know what was a fucking shitty superpower? There used to be this like, I think it was on like Boomerang or something, or like it was on something before. But it was like this brother and sister superhero team, and it was like this little cartoon where they would like fight crimes. <laughs> the sister. They had different powers. The sister could turn into, like, any animal. She was, like, Beast Boy. Like, any animal on Earth. Fish, mammal, bird, insect. She can turn into anything. Yeah, you know what the fucking brother's power was? He can turn into different forms of water. Like, he can turn into steam or water or ice. That was that motherfucker's power. Um, oh, this replenishes HP. The Wonder Twins? Oh, like all you guys know about that. I really hope they nail the Shelly and Eric dynamic. I mean, I, I've, I don't really know who FKA Twigs was, but maybe she's a good actress. I don't know. Do you think the Crow movie, do you think they will show Eric and Shelly together for a bit before they die? Or do you think... It seems like they're going to show them for a bit because you see them when they meet in, like, the, um... When they meet in the, um... Like, mental health facility or wherever. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Wait, is it not, like, kill these guys? Wait, how are they still alive? What? Dude, hello? Maybe I have to kill the big guy first? Oh. What? What do you mean I failed? It's like they don't even have a fraction of his strength. Oh, I guess this was supposed to happen? Yeah, this game gets weird. Yeah, it's a rehab facility. I imagine having a worse superpower is being in a coma while you're just an astral projection plane. I don't care if I get slicing ribbons. Fuck being in a coma. Could you say that that was like Tony Soprano's superpower then? Hold your horses. I want you to at least pay you back for your help, so I brought you a little something. Hmm? Oh, I guess this is like our introduction to elixirs and shit. What superhero movie would you like to see Zack Snyder direct? Uh, at this point, no one. <laughs> I, I, at this point, I like... Zack Snyder's done enough, I think. Wait, 
Thunderstrike. At this point, he, he's 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 done enough, I think. Thunderstrike, Thunderstrike. Okay, I guess this gives us like a block. Let me change. I don't know. If he has to direct anything, maybe. I mean, shit. I, I know for a fact Zack Snyder could make a fucking a good Punisher movie because they pretty much made a Punisher movie with Batman. So you can probably do that. Oh, shit. Someone forgot to plug in their controller after stream. What's up, Batman? Comic Twitter. I have thoughts, but not the time to play it. Yeah, I've decided. I've decided not to uh, engage in that anymore. We got a lot of people here today. What well, was that? Pretty darn effective, wouldn't you yep. say? I had no idea it would be this potent. Oh, thanks for saving me. I'll give you the key of the Dragon's Palace, so feel free to come when you can. Twitter bad, YouTube good. Well, I pretty much only use my Twitter to like promote my channel or to just, like talk bullshit. Dune books are some of the most batshit crazy stuff I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I have to give them a shot. I didn't really I thought it was one book. I didn't realize it was a whole fucking franchise. There's like a bunch of books. The extract of mine can't fix old age, it seems. Excuse me. <clears throat> can't wait for the TikTok ban. Eh, who knows? They might sell it. But I'd have to imagine a huge margin of TikTok users are in the U.S. But I thought, like, if they ban TikTok, does that just mean you can't download it on new phones? Or does that mean, like, people who have it downloaded still can't use it? Like, like is it just going to, like, not work? Are they banning TikTok in the U.S.? The Congress voted on it, and so basically TikTok has 100 days because the problem the U.S. has with TikTok is that it's owned, which, by the way, when they say owned, it's only like 20%, but it's owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance, and they, you know, the U.S. thinks that they might be selling our data to China or something, so uh, basically... In the next hundred days, if TikTok doesn't sell that percentage that ByteDance owns to another company, like one that isn't controlled by China, then they're going to ban it. It needs a special broth that, when mixed with the right ingredients, turns to the extract. These extracts are physically concocted to draw out the essence of each ingredient and transfer that power into the body. Mm -hmm. I mean, in China, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are banned. Why not ban TikTok in the U.S.? Because, like, I don't know. It's the 21st century. Like, why are we still acting like we're in the Cold War? Like, 
I, Congress has no clue what TikTok actually promotes because they're out here acting like TikTok is brainwashing people into becoming communists or something. Like, dude, I see some of the most fucking insane right wing ideology ever on TikTok. Like, like some TikTok accounts are like fucking clans meetings. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, the last, I don't see like, like <laughs> communism being spreaded there. I see like the opposite. It's just like, I, there's a thousand other issues we have in the US that are, I think, a little bit bigger than just TikTok. So, but that's like the one thing apparently Congress can agree on. I have just enough ingredients to make you another extract. Uh, buddy, we, we got all the extracts we want. I can't even fit another one in them. Sigma stuff started on TikTok? Uh, no, I would say it started more on Twitter, but TikTok definitely. Um, TikTok definitely, like, made it louder, I guess. I mean, I guess you can say TikTok kind of started some of it. The ingredients over here. Thank you. Here. I'll give you a little recipe that details everything an extract might need. If you want to try your hands at brewing some more extracts, then go gather some ingredients. Also, take this gourd. It's filled with a special solution that allows you to brew your own extracts at any time. Excuse me. Why does the recipe say scavenger hunt on it? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. There are errands I'd like you to run. I'm trying to develop as many new extracts as possible, so I'd like your help with collecting the right ingredients. If you make the extract list on the recipe, I'll teach you how to brew more. But for now, get the scavenging. Hope it all goes well. Yeah, so I think we have like the special edition. So we have like all the extracts already, plus like all the other broken shit. So we have no reason to do any of this. <laughs> like literally, like we have no, we have no reason to do this. Uh, go to fourth, first floor, I think. Oh, so this is the PS5 version? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I already got everything I could possibly need, so I really don't have use to making more elixirs. What's, like, the broken-ass one? I think it's the instant-kill one, right? Where you, like, basically summon in the Dragon Ball. Or the fucking, uh... You summon in, like, a spirit bomb. No, I didn't finish the main story yet. I don't think we're that close, even. Because the, the front, front out here is a pretty long game. If China is communism, then I'm Mussolini just because I'm Italian. takes 27 hours to beat the main story. I think we're about 10 yeah. hours in already. Kaito-san told me you'd be here. Don't forget about me next time, yeah? I wish you'd fucking forget about me. Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? It's so nice of you to let us use your store, Higashi-san. Especially when you're clearly so opposed to the idea. Don't talk down to Yakuza, kid. It's okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. What the hell? Damn, and you're braver than you look, Hoshi. <coughs> you got the skills to back it up? Just a third degree black belt. Huh. Not that I've ever had to use it. <sighs> well, I'll call this meeting to order. Sure, I'll do the honors.
Masamichi Shintani of the Genda Law Office has been murdered. Given that his eyes were gouged out, it's likely we have the whole gang here. Yeah, there's like there's a lot and of people here today. Your help to track him down. Do we? I think the the yeah, early streams work huh? better. I, I should move like the Good Friday streams up early up as well. <laughs> again, it's come up before. We can talk about that later. What's important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. Hmm. I think I remember them being in the news a lot last year. Something about a new drug that could win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, here it is. The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published in one of the world's leading scientific magazines. Leading to the 89 of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. It's a brand new dementia drug. They call it AD9. This was right after Director Kido from the ADDC dementia published drug. his paper on it. They're still undergoing clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. Now with the, the man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido. I don't even know what you're talking about physiology. Anymore and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okpo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while Speaking now. of dementia, from what I can tell, I really want to listen to budget everything at the end of time. AD9. Like that that They're even album building that the simulates center. like it's the effects of dementia. <laughs> Damn good. Is it made by one dude and it's like if you if you Still listen to people have said like if you listen Why to it like up? all six hours of it in one setting you, you actually start out. feeling a fact like it like simulates the effects of forgetting shit yeah the the it was made by the this guy named First the caretaker off, he he made um this yeah, album how are we gonna do that it's like though? six and a half hours and it it, it, it that all depends each on your acting it's in like stages and each stage represents like the six <laughs> stages of dementia and it's like it simulates what a person goes through in their lifetime if they deal with dementia. ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... What the hell are you guys talking about? I will claim Rome. This is... Uh... Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. You got me a detective. You got me a lawyer. Oh, fuck. Uh... You got me a lawyer? This is Takayuki Yagami. I'm a lawyer from the Genda Law Office. Ah, hello there, Yagami-san. I'm calling about a lawyer named Shintani, who I believe contacted you yesterday. I was wondering if you could... If we can actually fix dementia, that'd be the greatest Do human you achievement. The extension you wish to reach? Well, Sorry, that pro one asked. of them, yeah. Like that or curing cancer, that would be a great Why achievement. Why you tell me what the call was about, and I'll connect you to the proper department. Oh, it was, uh... It was about 89, the drug that can supposedly cure dementia. Sorry, but I'm not authorized to talk about that. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know what we're doing now. Department. Sure. Please hold, sir. Doesn't sound like you're making much progress. Thank you for waiting. Uh, yes? It seems our publicity department never received a call from a Shintani-sama. I see. Thank you, anyway. Okay, I don't think I did that right. <laughs> no way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. You think that's gonna work? Not sure, but I know the director, remember? Worst case scenario, I come back empty-handed. I'll come with you, Yagami-san. Okay, me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was gonna help you. By the way, Yagami-san, whatever happened to that guy from three years ago? Shinpei Okubo. He's in the detention center. You had faith in humanity to begin with? Sentence. Have you ever I had a, see him, my, my faith in humanity is a little bit better if I just no. stay off social media, Why honestly. I? Why do you ask, anyway? I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. Yeah, delinquents, the one by the caretaker. It's called Everything at the End of Time. About the case. I mean, did you really think that he was innocent? 
Well, not much. I'm doing all right. Probably. But then he walked. Hot take Macedonian Empire versus Roman Empire. Too, yeah? Over Roman Empire. I mean, I, that's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> technically, you believe him Rome was too? like the most powerful empire in the world, wasn't thing. it? Oh, like, all things considered. But... I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him in court made me sick to my stomach. Do you think he deserves it? Yeah, I, I, I never, like, That's I never thought of, of YouTube as a social media platform. Look, it really is more like a streaming that? service. Because, like, Was that this really far? isn't, nah. isn't, if you say so. uh, like, social media, I would say. Um... And my god, if anyone ever calls me a fucking social media influencer, I'm just gonna slap you. I swear to god, never call me that. I like the one song by him called Libets. Yeah, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't heard anything from him yet. I'm sure he's really talented. No, I'm not an influencer. I'm not like in, even the term like content creator is like weird. The chats are delayed. We gotta do this shit again. Yeah, I don't know. The, the YouTube chat's fine. I don't. I don't know if, if someone's up with the the Twitch chat. Over here, Yagami -san. I don't know. I have a on taxi for us. on OBS, the the um follow the hat. Where'd it go? OBS for, um... For Twitch seems weird. Remember when YouTube tried to make its own movies? With the Paul brothers? You mean, like, what was it called? The fucking... It was like a rip-off of The Purge. It was like called, like, the, the Cunning or something. Yeah, this shit was stupid. And this guy again. Oh, it's on your end, Linkwent? Maybe, but I don't know, like, in my experience, Twitch, like, if you use OBS to stream to Twitch, it's, like, weird. It's really glitchy. Because, like, I'll check. And randomly, for whatever reason, like, the Twitch stream will just stop. Like, YouTube, it's fine. And I'm not even... Like, technically, I'm using a a plugin to, to stream to YouTube. But it never has issues. But Twitch, for some reason, is, is weird. I mean, OBS in general kind of sucks because it's so glitchy. But... It's all right, sometimes. It just scrambles your chat. I don't know why. Johnny Somali got arrested. Who the fuck's Johnny Somali? Twitch is a glorified softcore cam girls website at this point. I mean, if you go on the main page, that's kind of all they promote. Anyone here know about Romanian food? Not really. So this guy like a he's like a TV star or something. It's my hat. Give it back. Oh yeah. No, we gotta chase the kid now. Yeah, Kick seems like the most like degenerate streaming service ever. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wait a 
Oh, you mean that guy who was like... I, I know who you're talking about now. The guy who would like go on like subways in Japan and scream like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Goes to Japan with chat alerts saying Hiroshima. Oh, that guy. Surprised the dude didn't get killed by the Yakuza. I, the Yakuza really doesn't have that much clout anymore in Japan. Also, Japan's like a very, um, Japan's like a very, uh, like safe, well, there's a lot less violence in Japan. He also got into women's only cabins. Oh, yeah. I, I remember... I I didn't know about that shit. Like, how bad, like, the... The... Like, assault stuff was in Japan. But I remember I was in college. I was in, like, fucking... God, what was it? Like... Some history class. And I, I had, um... A friend who was Japanese. Or he was born in America, but his family was from Japan. And he, like... He would spend summers in Japan every year. Um... And he had a, a, he got his iPhone from Japan. And I remember like we were outside and, and every time he'd take a picture and make a clicking noise and I, I didn't know about it, but I asked him and I was like, um, I was like, what's that about? And he goes, oh yeah, every iPhone sold in Japan has to make a clicking noise when he takes a picture because there were huge, huge problems of like Japanese dudes going next to women with like skirts and putting their phones underneath them like fucking without them knowing and taking pictures so that's why it does that i was like blown away and that's when i learned about that there was like different cars for like women and men on trains like i didn't know it was that bad <clears throat> the yakuza threatened him and made him bow they said they would kill him if he went back oh really okay i guess they do have some more pull than i thought japan has better trains in new york city that's for sure well, his friends got those bullet, bullet trains too. That's like a that's like a weird um. That that's like a weird like bucket list thing of mine is I want to go on a, a Japanese bullet train. Japan also has those panty vending machines. It's so weird because like J like Japan's actually very conservative. Like they have a very conservative government, but like with stuff like that, it's it's just weird. And they have this big problem where, like, they fetishize, like, schoolgirls and stuff, too. It, it's, there's a bunch of stuff in, in Japan that has a lot of problems. Like, a lot of people fucking who are into anime and shit, they always say, oh, I want to, I want to move Japan. That's my, my dream place. Like, a lot of people who live in Japan get fucking huge, get a big culture shock. Like, it, it, it's not the same. <clears throat> Not to mention, like, racism is a big thing over there, too. Like, black and brown tourists... What the hell is this stretchy rubber? Black and brown tourists who go to Japan, they get shit, like, all the time. There was a, a girl on TikTok. She was half Japanese and half black. Her mother was Japanese, and I think her dad was from, like, Nigeria or something. And... And she lived mostly in Japan, and like she talked about like the bullying she would get. It was like awful. It's so weird, like because we run everything behind the scenes. Oh yeah. Well, back in the day, it used to be worse. Like every sporting event in Japan, because I used to be a big fan of like Pride, which was the um, the Japanese MMA organization. 
like th they had guys like like Fedor Emelianenko, uh, Mirko Krokop, like stuff like that, like those old school MMA guys. And um, that was all fucking Yakuza ran. If I recall correctly, here last year there were over nine, 90,000 police responses to Mexican yeah. violence in Romania. Really? Uh, that's the thing. Like a lot of a lot of um, Americans are very like ignorant. You know, like like we think our problems are so bad here. So, you know, the same as you remember. And and we always talk about how we want to move and shit. But it's like. Grass is not always greener on the other side. Like, every place has a problem. Yeah, Japan, South Korea has some of the worst bullying of any countries, and the students don't get in trouble. I think there are stories of students huh? legit bullied in suicide. Me, I mean, there's a reason why, like, suicide rate is so high in Japan. It's, like, one of the highest in the world. I mean, there's a lot of factors for that, but... I mean, there's a reason. I mean, we, hell, you guys were talking about it before. There's a reason why Logan Paul is able to go into a certain forest that's known for that. Like, it's really bad. What are you all shaking up for? Calm down. Just stick with me. Which is so funny that, like, another one of those Got Tate bros, gathering. like that guy Sneeko, who used to be like fucking Mr. Beast's cameraman or something. He Yagami talks about son. how much he loves Japan because it's Try safe ditch, and and okay? everyone works so hard and there's no quote unquote degenerates, even wrong. though like Japan has like the highest suicide rate out of any like country in the world. And like women have to go in different cars. Like it's 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 funny how people choose to be ignorant and act like it's like this place is better than this other place because of of one reason. Ignore the other ones. over there. Work culture is terrible. Yeah, that, that it's it's Japan. Sneeko's he's just a little. He's like one of those Andrew Tate dickheads. He's like one of those Andrew Tate dudes. Um, he 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 was like, I think he was like either Mr. Beast's cameraman or like he worked with Mr. Beast or something. Like, he's just one of those like Tate bro, you know, fucking uh, Sigma male dudes. You have an appointment, sir? Sneeko wouldn't last a day in the Japanese. He wouldn't last a day in the Japanese working the force. Yeah, this dude fucking. We're here to talk uh, about th this dude. In yesterday. Just talks in front of a. a of ours named Shintani. You know. He was the victim. A fucking a this camera all day, killed. and acts like We're he has he us track down exactly the clout to tell other people sorry, what to do. Sir, but I can't provide. That's the other thing that pisses me off too. Like. You have guys like Sneeko well, and like Hassan Piker could I at least talk to who instead? He's an old talk friend. about like streaming and they talk about the YouTube and they're like, oh, this is hard. Like uh, Hassan Piker literally said like fucking being there. a streamer is, is harder than being a fucking like uh, oil field worker or some shit. I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I work hard at YouTube. Like I put in eight hour days every week, like 40 hours a week, right? Like any other job. I'm telling you this from my perspective and I'm still relatively small time. I mean, I just hit like 40,000 subs, which is nothing to sneeze over, but you know, compared to other people, I'm still relatively small. This is so much fucking easier than, than another job. That's not to say it's hard. Gentlemen. That's not to say it's, it's, it's not hard. It is, but this is so much easier than 99% of jobs. It is like, it, it, I'm sorry, but it is like, like you can't yeah, tell me that about all this streaming or YouTube here won't give it a is at, as hard as working in a fucking oil field. But like you can't tell me soon. doing eight hours of streaming and doing you know eight hours of like fucking welding or construction or like being a longshoresman takes the same amount of energy out of you. It doesn't. And what about Okubo? I take yeah, delinquent, we are doing movie night tonight. Uh, no. Because I've streamed for eight hours, no, nine hours before. It does not, it is not nearly as fucking hard. Quite true. Not 
Like, I, I have been on both ends. I've done YouTube as a full-time thing, and I, I've, like, you know, fucking stock shelves, cash registers, other shit. I would choose this every fucking day. Like, to act like this is hard, or, like, as hard as that other shit, no, it's not. That's why, like, I, I hate how pompous... I don't feel like this is as bad for, like, YouTubers, but I hate how pompous a lot of streamers are. Like, streamers are the most... Like, people who make a living off of live streaming, they're the most fucking... Um, entitled people on the planet. It's because you're sitting and talking, you're not doing dumb shit like them. Jumping off the wall type. No, well, not even. With that, I'll be taking my leave. <clears throat> but like, director. streaming is the Apologies most because they're the most self entitled people in the world. Think about it. Way. You you, you make a living off of talking about some the bullshit. The guy who died in um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. you get people who pay you for it. Like it's the most like self indulging that. job in the world. Wow. That's why I think the streaming. Like, the Streamy Awards are the dumbest fucking thing. It's literally a room of self-entitled people giving themselves right. awards because of how cool they are. Like, it's so the fucking dumb. Town, huh? We're not exactly welcome guests here. Also, this is like a flashback now. Motherfuckers acting like saying now I'm playing a game for hours straight is harder than working at a retail store. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I mean, okay, yes, I, I understand the point that right this way, that please. streaming can be um, Straight ahead is the ADD socially draining. Board. Like, yeah, if you stream for eight hours in a row, yeah, your, your social battery is going to get drained. You're not going to want to go out and, and hang out with people, I'm sure. But, like, I would still pick that over working in a fucking oil field. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> This shit is easy compared to that. Like, if you if you're a person who makes a living off of YouTube or off of of Twitch, yes, it is draining and you can get burnt out definitely. What's but this is easier than than fucking That's the research wing. eighty percent of jobs out drugs. there. Oh, you can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. Went to, I once worked for a mechanic for 12 hours a day for 30 euro a week where conditions in certain places is horrible. Huh. Yeah, like... Sounds like it's a whole other world. Th there's places in the world where, like... Because like be other bit. countries don't have, like, the, the work... Like, the, 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 the work, like, regulations we have. The only big streamers you like are Jinxie, Critical... And I'm Dante. I, 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 I don't really watch any streamers. I mean, I watch some of Critical stuff when it's on YouTube, but nothing that major. With Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia. Yes. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So they're one of I'll start working in Italy or Spain like every Romanian. Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. Uh-huh. Hey. No, 19 is not old for a senior. I knew plenty of 19-year-olds of were seniors. Hell, one dude I graduated with was 20 when he was a senior. I think the cutoff is 21, but he got held back, what, three years? There's a cat somewhere. Oh, there he is. Suspicious. Many young people are leaving Italy. Yeah, because like getting a, a house in Italy is like almost impossible. Housing's like terrible. Oh, I think I already looked at that. Investigate the bed. Hmm. What about the bed? Uh, 
Um, I don't see where we're supposed to investigate here. Getting a job is impossible, too. Dude, there's people in the United States who post, like, fucking 40 job listings a day and still don't get callbacks. Suspicious. Oh. Okay. Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody. No. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident, yes? That's right. So, he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Yeah, Penny, don't put yourself down like that, man. There's nowhere interesting to work. Yeah. I can't get a call back for a job and I fill up multiple applications. There's people that have fucking filled out like 500 at job applications still don't get callbacks. There's no way Wakasan could have escaped through Like, here. I can't tell you how many times I've applied to a place that have had signs posted that have said urgently hiring or hiring multiple positions and don't hear anything. All the rooms have windows like this, right? Seems like people would notice if something was going. It's not on. natural to work. I want to live well, in a forest have and hunt. Many employees in this ward. And technically, the you stay fairly well, busy, mm. but it's mostly. That's the thing is, like, you can't even. Appointments. Look, there's actually laws in the U.S. that like make it harder for people to like here, yeah? live like that on their own. Like, do you know there are some places in the U.S. where it's actually illegal to grow your own food? It's not many places, but like, there are some states in the U.S. where it's actually illegal to grow your own food. Hmm. You can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani Sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Here to join me, Terasawa-san? What do you got to lose? Well, that wasn't creepy at all. It was a joke. Literally, they want people to fill out an application and then so call you back. Point, you can't it's make out especially the like case. the most annoying shit too is when you'll go to a place and they tell you to apply online and then like th so, there's nothing. Is this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case like that's why like closed. college is like Oklahoma. as much as college Oklahoma sucks, it's almost no, mandatory him, in a way because like well, of course that's what he says. It, the only way it's you can get a job now is to, like get specialized in something that like case. you know might require you. Sure, Let's prefer in person applications. The only Are jobs I've gotten have all been in person. I've never gotten a callback from right. an online application. Never once. Our victim was the patient staying in this room, Koichi Waku, male, age 66, at 8.30 a.m. on the morning I support crime, independent businesses, the nurses supporting he was artists of all kinds, yes, including physical crafts, counters, Waku's independent business. State, oh, yeah, you should always support independent wandering around businesses. The hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a And you have older people report. talking to you like it's your fault. Right. You don't want to work. You know what a Dude, old people like are so out of it. Like, don't take anything a fucking problem. old geezer says the to you seriously. Somebody there was, was like this old couple on TikTok in their 70s. After they bought their house for fucking $12,000. You can't get a shed in fucking Wyoming for $12,000 anymore. Like, wages have stayed the same. Okubo to confess, burying and body out in the mountains. like shit hasn't and lo and behold, fixed three months after Waku disappeared yeah the Etsy the shop's a great idea it just it, it, away like right it takes a while to to get started but death was most likely suffocation but they still don't know for sure and you know you're always you're always welcome so to like promote far. your stuff Yadley sweetie Sensei. actually yeah you're forgetting something I think What's as far that? as Etsy, I think commission no, is where you make the most money, I would say. All he admits to is dumping the body. You can't say for sure that the guy who dumped the body actually committed the murder. She does paint, yes. The grease scam. Don't get me wrong, college is important, very important. Like being a doctor pharmacist. But fuck, man, some of these jobs don't even need a degree. That's true, no. too. Sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault. 
Anyone who has a commission open, if you want to ask them for a commission. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Yeah, if you go on my Twitter, like, go all the way back, Scarlet Widow also did an incredible um, wood burning of, of the, the crow. It was really good. That's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did. For sure, anything like Etsy commissions are the way to go, especially because some people are willing to pay insane amounts for commissions. Yeah, that's true. Like, selling original art is definitely... You could do it, but it's harder. The commissions are definitely the way to go. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? Well, if anyone should, it's his lawyers. Uh, Etsy is a, um... It's, it's just like an online shopping. Uh, it's like an Amazon, but it's made for, like, independent creators and people who, like, handcraft stuff. Yep. It's so like a lot of artists go on Etsy, um, the one where Okoboku like people who craft truck. things. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. Like, uh, I remember I used to do like Secret Santa with my friends, and one year I got my I my um, elevator down there. Follow me. I got my friend for Secret Santa. I got him a a PS5 controller that was painted. Um. That was painted with like the Naruto characters and like all that of Etsy. Yeah, you can get figures off of Etsy. Follow me. Want custom DMC figures? Oh, that's absolutely on Etsy. 100%. I think I've gotten some figures off of Etsy. I sincerely believe we'll end up living in places like Night City. Probably. God love procrastination, man. Got to work on my senior paper to graduate, and I haven't touched in over a week. Oh yeah, like work on that a little, little by little. But see, I can't. Here's my thing. I used to be Mister Last Minute on everything, but I I'm one of those people, and I think this is like a ADHD ADD problem because the thing with people with ADHD is that they're very bad with time until they have a deadline. And then they actually become very proficient with time. I, if I wrote like a five page essay the night before I had handed in, I always got a good grade. For some reason, if I took my time and like, and, and did my paper over a long period of time, I would get a worse grade. I'm one of those people where I do my best work last minute. Like, when the pressure's on, and, you know, and I have to force myself, I, I do my best work last minute. I, I sincerely believe that. Like, whether it's studying for a test or writing a paper, that's when I would do my best work. body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. Hey, Yagami, check this out. These are the carts they use to collect sheets and linens. Day of the crime. Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. Would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. But where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? I don't know. Oh. Um, if we have the future, we'll be like Cyberpunk. I'm getting a new metal body. I gotta tell you, if we ever get into like some any fucking uh, shit, like Detroit become human, where there's a war between the androids and the humans, I might side with the androids. The humans kind of suck. With the back. Be honest. Here's a recreation of it. A lot of people are getting diagnosed with ADHD these I days. See. Yeah, I, I mean, I see. I don't know anything about like if That's proof ADHD is like just a, a, like always there, or like maybe you can get it somehow. But like, I feel like there must be a correlation between how many people are getting like ADD or ADHD and like how many, how many. Kids are just like on their tablets and shit twenty four seven. Like I feel like there has to be a correlation. Investigate the parking lot because there's people. There's evidence that the body was in Okubo's truck. Because there's people that fucking those kids are being raised off of their fucking iPads now. I'd love to do horror, horror merchandise tomorrow, but I think you need a license so you don't get copyrighted. I don't, I really don't think that, like, people have done it 
on Etsy all the time and like they don't always get copyrighted. Like, I don't think Marvel really cares. Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah. <laughs> Marion Android, not sure how to grow mustache. But An yeah. ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. You can do it, just change the name. See, That's true. Can we talk to this witness? I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research. Metal Man, the hunk. They're not willing Odin. to make an exception this once. This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, All right, we're going to be playing for like another 10 minutes, minutes, and then I'm going to get right, on out of here. Right. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, tonight at um, at 9 p.m. Right. Eastern Standard U.S. time, so the patients can uh, walk on their own, gather in the we're going to. But on the day of his disappearance, 8:30 came and went. Have another we Discord movie night. We're gonna be watching find The quickly. Crow. Um, exactly I'm sorry because I know a lot of people here are in other parts of the world, and, and 9 p.m. U.S. is like Let's go over some more three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry about that. I, I wish there was a. A way it could work for everyone's schedule, but unfortunately, it just doesn't doesn't work that way. A 9 p.m. tonight, well, we Eastern Standard. Waku was taken out of his room sometime between. It'll be there, Mateo. Yeah, isn't it like seen. two in the morning for you? I, I always feel bad when that happens. But. He was gone. During that 40-minute span, somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Oh shit! Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, awesome when it comes to being a nerd, Waku's America is the best place found. to live. Probably. With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. Create the strength and certain you new skills. You can't purity keep. of the blessed machine. Fine, then I'll do it. You're, you're all into it. You don't have to be involved. Even if I'm not, the loss will hurt Genda Sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. I can't back down from this. <clears throat> Fine. I'll be in the lobby. Why these Japanese Yakuza talk like an Italian mob? Italian American? Well, because we're using English, um, if you like, the English dub. I could take you to see Wakasan's room again. You don't mind? Oh, that would be great. It's the only way, usually I wouldn't play with dub, but it's the only way I could, like, pay attention to this and read chat at the same time. The window's sealed shut. There's no way Wakasan could have escaped through here. Um, are you finished? Yeah, I've seen what I need. Anything else you can share? <clears throat> How long will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? I if he's found guilty, that is. Probably ten years, maybe more. It's hard to say for sure. And what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? Well, at the very least, it'd make a better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea? Even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, I've been told I'm mature for my age. I'll win. Well, but to be perfectly when I was honest, like younger. This is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then. Because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa-san, were you close to Okubo-kun? I spoke to him pretty often. Old man, I'm only 24, I man. I see him around the ward all the time. Oh, you mean old man? What did you think of him? Did he seem I mean, like compared the kind to you of guy guys. who something like this? 
I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. Wait. If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? 2000. I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo Kun free. But I can't do it alone. Just give it some thought, Terasawa san. Just now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. Yeah, the flashback segment's like cool. You. Whoever Wait, D, what, what, what eye disease do you have? Wait, have you talked about this before? Maybe I don't remember. So if I was born in 1999, that would make me old, but because I was born in 2000, that somehow makes it... <laughs> makes it different? On the day of the crime, you were in the general war of the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. That's not true. <coughs> Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. This guy sounds like Thank Yuri you. Lowenthal. So when you went down to See the penny. center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. Give me a huge hurl of climbing this trial. I had a criminal assault on my record. I knew the police would have... Yeah, I think that's Yuri. That sounds like him. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Bad blood? What are you talking about? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo-kun here punched him and stole his wallet. They told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. <laughs> even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Well, Okubo-kun, did you take his wallet or not quite? They call it weird how older Gen Z are almost thirty. I like I, I don't really pay attention to any of that shit. You think something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason. Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't kill a man over something like that. Ah, I wish I could believe you, pal. Come on, Okabokun. You got a record of violence. Generations are honestly pretty dumb. It wasn't me. I swear. Yeah, it's, it just puts like a separation Somebody between set me up. some Please, like. You have so, to believe me. <laughs> like the difference between like a, a boomer right millennial can be like Calm a span down. of two years, three years, like as. Yagami Sensei, do you believe me? I do. Okay. The next time, come along. Fine. I can take a hint. You and Yagami Sensei can cuddle up all you want. Hey, you know that nurse, Terasawa-san? Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. I don't know. If you'll excuse me. He sounds innocent. Like, he doesn't sound like he... Who did anything. It's a long flashback so sequence. So just left you hanging, huh? He's got to learn some damn patience. Maybe so. But this is my case now. 
I can handle it myself. Huh. Okay. Um. All right. This is where I'm going to get off uh, for today, everyone. Um, really awesome stream. We had a lot of people here today. Um, but yeah, so tonight we're going to do a Discord movie night at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard. Uh, we're watching The Crow, I think. Right? Is that still Was that still in the lead last time I checked? Uh, we polls. Yeah, yeah, it's in the lead. All right. So we're going to be watching The Crow. Um, and yeah, just thank you everyone for stopping out. And I'll see you.